All right, all right, party people. It's your man Grill. Whoo! Just finished doing another house inspection. Man, I smell like a whole pack of Marlboros, Newports, and some Slims all rolled into one. Man, man, yeah, they um, yeah, that one apartment, man, it was a fourplex and they smoking up a storm in there that person has some serious cigarettes stuff going down and everything so all right just trying to get my there we go get my charger going all right so all of that's going yeah um i just wanted to share with y'all i had um a Ron closing yesterday and it was a culmination of the um or the actual manifestation I guess you could say of the one gentleman that I told you I was doing a closing with and me and him were just having a conversation and he said he might need me to take care of some online notary stuff for him and um and then he hit me up and said hey I got somebody that needs your help um, a buddy of his so I was like all right cool you know and the signing uh, it wasn't even a notary sign it was just a a document they needed a person to sign and um, overall it was easy once we got in but the hard part was the technology as I always share with y'all the signer has to have the technology if the signer is straight for a citizenship that's great but where I had to, where we had the problem was that where they live at was out, as he called it, in the sticks. It was just hardly any good internet. So they was trying on a laptop, and then a the laptop webcam couldn't work. Um, then they couldn't get on the um, on the phones or any of that. So we was just sitting there struggling yesterday evening trying to get this done. Um, one of the persons had already get. Well, it was four people. So two of the four was able to do the ID verification with no issues. And the, the third person was having issues and then the signer himself, he was having issues. So I said, all right, we just gonna have to redo it again in the morning. And, um, and fortunately with Doc Verify, the session stays active, you know, it stays there for, for a little bit. It just doesn't go away because it's still sitting there waiting on the people to get in. So we go to get in this morning at 10, everybody else got in with no problem. The um, other person who was having problems the day before, they got on there, logged in with the information that was sent to them and they was approved, but because the gentleman, he failed his ID check, he couldn't go back in. But the, pro the thing I was confused about is that normally when it comes to the ID failure, the KBA, they will give you a little link, you know, a button for me to click on as the um, host, the session host, I click on it and then that person is able to get back in, you know, or um, retry. But what I learned today is that for his state, they got different rules. So when he failed it that first time off of one attempt, I think it was Michigan he was in, they wouldn't let him give it another shot. He couldn't try again. So we had to cancel that session and redo a whole new online session for everybody. And once we did the new session, okay, why are you slowing up? Once we got in there and did the new session, everything worked fine. We got in there, I mean, literally, it was less than five minutes. <laughs> Every day was less than five minutes to do one notarization. That was it, one notarization and three signatures from people who witnessed it. That was it and, um, and everything. So, you know, I had to have patience with this. I have to give Dot Verify um, all the kudos. They did a fantastic job providing me with support. Even though it was email support, I would love to talk to somebody but they do email support. But they were 
they was responsive. I mean, they was right on there. I told them the urgency of it. And really, even without that, they still are very, you know, active and responsive. So I told them what, you know, what was going on with the problem. I sent them screenshots and Doc Verify was right on it. I mean, it was like, hey, here's what you need to do, this, that, and the other. Okay, check with the laws of, of the state. Yeah, they're gonna have to redo the whole session. All right, cool. Went and redid the whole session and everything and all of that. So it worked out. I ain't gonna lie. It, it worked out really, really well, but you do have to be patient and you can have these things. So I'm saying this because I know a lot of people are like, well, I'ma just, you know, be a Ron and just sit back again when it comes to Ron you got to have a platform that you can use first of all it got to be a platform that your state approves of secondly thirdly whoever the receiver of the notarized document has to be somebody who will accept the notarized document if they don't accept notarized e-notarized electronic notarized documents then all of this is mute so you can have the best you know online system all of that ease everybody is able to log in get verified but you still have to ask or they have to ask not us the person who's um contracting you they need to find out will the receiver, the people who is accepting this document, accept it being, you know, signed electronically and notarized electronically. If they do, you're good. If they don't, that's where the problems come in at and everything, you know. So they accept it. I was like, bet, you know. So we got in there, got it done. So just keep that in mind when you're talking about well, I'm gonna stop doing the face-to-face -face. and there's nothing wrong with it and I'm not saying in any way shape or form So stop thinking that I'm throwing shade at you and all of that. I'm not I'm just bringing the other side of it because a lot of people call me talking about they want to do Ron notary because they don't feel like Doing all the ripping and running with the face-to-face -face notary got it. I understand that But you got to remember in order for you to do just like in order for you to do a loan closing somebody has to want to do the loan closing they have to want to have a loan and then it has to, to get it closed in order for there to be an online run remote online notary closing or any kind of e-notary stuff online somebody has to want it and with the mortgage the title company has to be willing to accept it the lender has to be willing to accept it and the courthouse where it's going to be recorded has to be willing to accept it all those three things and the problem is that you got folk out there teaching be a e-notary be a ron take my ron class and they're not covering me i don't i haven't heard that they have and if i'm wrong please forgive me but they're not covering and talking about the fact that you need those three factors in place because the title company has to be willing to do it there's title companies here in my area that's like, no, nah, we don't do RON. Everything gotta be wet signature. If it ain't in ink, they don't wanna do it. They are not gonna accept it. The title company has to, the lender has to, you know, um, well, that's what I said. The title company, the lender, and the, um, the courthouse. So I've gone, I've had conversations with people where the signing company or that title company, because sometimes the title is also the signer, they're like, no, we fine with Ron, but the lender won't accept it. Or the lender has told me we're fine with it because we know Virginia allows, you know, Ron notary um, closings and Ron notary work and all of that, but the title company won't accept it. So that's where all of the people have to, and then I found out there was a, one of the counties here um, didn't want to accept it even though it was a, it's a Virginia County and it's approved by, by by Virginia, they was like, nah, if it ain't an ink signature, we not we not recording it. We're not allowing you to record it. And then they eventually gave in once I guess somebody talked to them and told them this is legal and and everything, and they went ahead on and accepted it. But you have to have those three factors, those three things in place. And if you don't, so please don't think that just because you become an e notary you're gonna be able to just sit back and chill and all of these orders are gonna come in. 
if you're working with any of these other platforms to be on their call center, you got to realize they're only going to pay you a fraction of what they're getting paid. And as I've always said, the more you got somebody doing for you, the less they're going to pay you. So with um, the other platforms, you know who they are. And I'm, I'm you know, I'm not trying to, I'm not going to say their name because I don't want people thinking that I'm targeting them and I'm not, you know, but I'm just learning more and more every day. People take every little thing I say and turn it into you're attacking this company or you're attacking or talking bad. No, it's just speaking truth. But y'all know who the, the primary companies are out there. Um, y'all heard about Snapdogs kicking, you know, kicking it with one of them, you know. Again, the person's got to be willing to accept it. But if you're trying to be a call center person, just accept, accept the fact that you're not going to, you may not be getting, you know, the $100 of signing and all of that. And see, that's the part that sort of amazes me that you're willing to sit down and get $5 of signing or five dollars for every notorial you know assignment you do but you're, you're you're stressing out over just the whole process of doing an actual face-to-face -face loan closing that could pay you a hundred dollars or 75 and all of that so that's where i'm like okay to me you must not need the money that bad because to make that same amount of money you're going to have to do a lot and there's a video on my channel with me talking to uh ron a guy named rob rob and um and he talks about it he talks about the whole e-notary doing it with different you know with the different companies and all of that i think seattle side hustle does the same so you know don't think that you're just going to quit being a face-to-face -face notary and go e-notary and you're just going to be you know popping dollars left and right unless you're willing to work um and then i've been hearing with some of the other companies they're only paying 40 to 50 dollars for each run so if you cool with that i like it as a compliment to what i've already been doing so that's how i look at it as a compliment to what i've already been doing now my direct clients who asked me to do ron they pay me a regular fee like i was doing a face-to-face -face. so i'm good with that but when you get with these companies and there's nothing wrong with them honestly it's not when you get with these companies you need to realize they got they have expenses just like the face-to-face -face title companies and stuff when you see 250 on the settlement sheet and they're only paying you 85 they have expenses that has to be covered in order for them to do what they're doing same thing with the ron platforms so they may be getting 250 they're paying you 40 or 50 of that that's their business model you need to understand and decide whether you want to accept that and then go from there and if you cool with that then you'll be making whatever amount of money that you need to be making but man it's cloudy today you know so that's all i wanted to share with y'all you know that i had to run got to work with the gentleman you know um and everything and very happy so i think everybody's pleased with the work that was done it was very simple um one signature from the guy one notarizations from me three signatures from the witnesses we was done in less than five minutes probably no more than four and that was my morning and now i'm getting i did my two house inspections getting ready to go knock out my two loan closings hopefully my documents ready for my later one i already got my three o'clock documents and um and that's it and then i got to connect with this lady see if she's available so i can do apparently there was a document that they didn't put in her loan packet that they need signed so i'm gonna go get that taken care of real quick grab me something to eat check on pops and um be good to go be real good to go y'all so y'all have a good one thanks and i did this in under 15 minutes peace